Hi, my name is Mrs Heron, a PE teacher here at the Durham Federation. Today we're going to take part in some fun physical activities that you can start right away at home or at school. You won't need any equipment, a mat would be great, but if you're at home just make sure you've got a little bit of space and that you're not next to too much furniture. So our activity today is a maths and fitness game where we're going to exchange some numbers for some fitness activities that you can have a go at. So everybody up on their feet. Right, our first activity is some squat jumps. So quite simply, we're just going to go, so everybody cut, follow, we're just going to have a, go to a couple of squat jumps and then we'll do them for 30 seconds. So a squat jump, we're going to squat down and then back up. Squat down and then back up. Well, ready and off we go. Squat down, back up. That's it. Making sure you bend your knees, getting your bottom nice and low to the floor. Good, bringing your hands up in front. Keep it going. You can speed it up a little bit if you're ready. Trying to get your knees over your toes. Keep going, 10 seconds left. And stop it. Well done, fantastic. Number two is gonna be a twist. So on a twist, get our elbows nice and high, and we're just gonna twist, 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 okay? When you do two of them, we're gonna twist, twist, and then back to the middle, okay? Right, are we ready for 30 seconds? Yeah, ready, and off we go. Keep your elbows nice and high. Well done, keep it going. That's halfway. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. You feel your heart beating a little bit faster? Starting to breathe a bit deeper? Courtney's smiling. Right, so that activity number two is our twists. Activity number three, we're gonna do some crunches. So for this one, you can lie down. I'll do them this way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. That's it, just show you math. So on a crunch, we're just gonna put our hands on our knees. We're gonna go backwards, okay? And then just up to our hands onto our knees again. We don't need to go all the way up. Ready, 30 seconds and off we go. Up to the top, just up to your knees. So we're just crunching up. That's it. I can see you all from here actually, so just do it from here. That's it, keep it going. Doesn't have to be quick. That's halfway, keep it going. Well done. Five seconds, two, and one. Stop there. Right, number four is gonna be an elbow to knee, okay? So just bringing your hands out by your ears and you're gonna bring your knee up and your elbow down. So it's opposite elbow to knee. Okay, so just gonna jump. Right, up we get then. We'll have a little practice at it. Okay, so hands by your ears. Okay, so it's just a jump, elbow, jump, elbow, jump. Okay, ready? Elbows up and off we go. Well done. Keep it going. Lovely. 10 seconds left. Get those knees nice and high. Three, two, one, and stop there. And activity five is called a lunge, okay? So I'll do it this way, but you're gonna come this way. So on a lunge, if you want to balance, you can put your hands on your hips. Try not to put your hands on your legs though, okay? So we're just gonna lunge forward, nice big step, and our knee almost touches the floor, but not quite, okay? So and then we swap legs, and it's just a nice and slow, nice and controlled. Have a go. You can put your hands out the side if you want. 
You don't have to have your hands on your hips. Sit nice big step. Lovely. Knee a little bit lower down, Joe, uh, Jaden. Okay, and stop. Right then, do you think we can do that for 30 seconds? Yes, of course we can. Ready, and off you go. That's it, keep it going. Getting that knee nice and close to the floor. And then lift just before you touch. Ten seconds left. And stop there. Our next activity, we're going to add some of our numbers together. So, for example, um, if I call out number one, add number two, one of you would do what we would do. What would you do for number one? A squat jump. So one person would do a squat jump. What would we do for number two? Your partner, or if you're in a three, two of you together, would do two twists. And what would the answer be? What's one and two? Three. Okay, and our answer is always going to be in the form of star jumps. Okay, so we would do three star jumps. So decide who's going first. Okay. So in, in a, if you've got a group of three, have one person do the first number and two people do the second number and all three of you do the answer, okay? Right, so um, our first one then is two add four. So two, one of you do your twist, add four. So the other one's gonna do your elbows to knees, four of them. Okay, just four elbows to knees and what's the answer? What's two add four? Six, so we've got six star jumps. Well done. Right, this one, three, add one. So three, three sit-ups. Well done, our three crunches. Excellent, add one. So what are we doing? That's it, off you go as soon as your partner's done. Yep, that's it. And then your answer is going to be in star jumps. So what's three add one? Right, we've got the idea. Let's see if we can get the students to go a little bit faster. So this time, as soon as you've done your answer, both of you, or three of you, quickly sit down on the floor to see which pair or group has finished first. When you sit down on the floor, just be a little bit careful. Right, are we ready? Two at five. Good, what's five? Quick, quick, quick. Well done, what's your answer gonna be? Is it quick, quick, quick? Well done. Who's sitting down first? Excellent. Right, back up on your feet. Ready, four, add three. Opposite, opposite, that's it. What's your three? Go, Charlie. That's it, quick, quick, quick. Once you've done your three, what do you have to do? Answer. Oh, the group at the back are fast. Sit down as soon as you're done. Oh, they've got you again, well done. Ready, up on our feet, one more. Um, one and four. Opposite, that's it. What's your answer? Quick, the answer, girls. They're on fire, aren't they? Right, okay. That's our maths and our fitness challenge. I hope you enjoyed it at home. You could come up with some of your own activities and change them for the numbers, but I hope you enjoyed yourself.